Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video. Today we're building something really exciting. We'll build together from scratch an AI chatbot assistant using AWS Lambda plus API Gateway that calls a foundation model. We're gonna use the Titan text large language model via Amazon Bedrock to generate responses and we'll deploy a simple front end to an S3 static website to chat with it. Let me show you the working version here. Here you can ask anything. For example, let's say, hello, what can you do? And here is the AI response. It says, hello, I can help you with variety of tasks, including checking the weather, setting reminders, and answering questions. I can also help you with tasks related to your calendar, email, and contacts. Please let me know what you need help with today. Let's say, what is Amazon Bedrock? And here's the reply. It says, Amazon Bedrock is a managed service that makes foundation models from leading AI startups and Amazon's own Titan models available through APIs. This is very cool. And here it continues and says, if you want to check the models, you can read the, their documentations. And we have this stylish chat interface with pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with no frameworks. And it's easy to deploy via S3. And the best part, it runs entirely serverless with real-time AI responses powered by Amazon Bedrock. I think this project is very interesting and it's going to be very helpful if you want to get into AI because AI is trending and it's everywhere nowadays. And you will get real-world exposure to AWS Bedrock and LLMs which is a hot topic right now. If you've ever wanted to embed a powerful LLM chatbot into your website without managing servers, this video is for you. All right, let's get started. I highly recommend creating a diagram before initiating any project. This approach helps you identify all the necessary components, get a comprehensive understanding of the tasks ahead, and simplify the implementation process. So here is the architecture diagram for this project. A user interacts with a chatbot through a front end, such as a static website hosted on Amazon S3 or through AWS Amplify hosting. Then a user sends a message like a chat prompt. That message is sent as an HTTPS request to an API gateway. And here, if there is no front end, you can also call the API directly from a platform like Postman. Then Amazon API gateway acts as a doorway into your backend. It securely receives the request and forwards it to a Lambda function. Now here, the Lambda function contains the backend logic like processing user input and calling bedrock then it will authenticate using an im role then it calls amazon bedrock using the tyrant model to generate a chatbot response and here amazon bedrock hosts powerful foundation models the tyrant model processes the input and generates a response like a chatbot reply. Again, for IAM role, the Lambda function assumes an IAM role with permissions to access Bedrock. This keeps everything secure and controlled. Then the chatbot response flow goes like this, from Bedrock to Lambda, then Lambda to API Gateway, then API Gateway to the front end, and then the replier will reach the user. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the project. Now, the first step, we're going to set up Amazon Bedrock Access. Now, what is Amazon Bedrock? If you're not familiar with the service, Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service that provides access to a variety of foundation models from leading AI companies like Amazon itself. Through a single API, you can easily integrate text, image generation capabilities from multiple providers into your applications using the AWS SDK. Now here, I've gone into my AWS account. I've searched for Bedrock up in the top and we are at the Bedrock console page. This is the place where you can discover what models are available and you can start to experiment with them. Over here, we have the menu on the left hand side. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to check to see the models that we have available and make sure that any of the ones that I want to have access, I can get access. OK, so check the region that you are currently in over here and make sure it's a region that is supported by Bedrock. Then I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the menu and click on model access. And this brings up a base model list. And here you can see I've got several models from many different providers. So here we have AI21 Labs. We have Amazon, Anthropic, Cohere. I'm sure you've heard of DeepSeek, Stability AI, and more. Now, if you want to enable access to these models, you can click them individually or you can click them by family type or provider type. If I come back and have a look at the menu, and here we have cards for each of the models that we have. You can click on a model 
and it will give you information about it, some of the supported use cases for that model, and the model ID, which is very important. All right, so here is all the few things that I have access to here in the green, and you do have to request access. It's not just given automatically. Amazon wants to make sure that you are not accidentally using models that you don't need to and avoid surprised large build. So if you've never been here before, you probably don't have access to anything. Now for this demo, we are going to use Amazon Tyron Text Express, this one here. Since I've already been granted access, let me just choose something that I don't have access to just to show you what that experience is. Let's say I wanted access to this one here. If you just click on the available to request here, then click request model access. This will take you to another page and just fill this and check what you want. Then scroll down and click next. You'll submit your request. This can take a few seconds to a few minutes. But once you've been granted access, you should receive an email letting you know that now you have access. Okay, the second step, we're going to create an IAM role for Lambda. Back to our diagram, here in this step, we're going to create an IAM role with permissions to access Bedrock. Now, to create an IAM role with the console, in the navigation pan, search for IAM, choose Roles, then choose Create a Role. For Trusted Entity Type, choose AWS. And here for Service or Use Case, we're going to choose Lambda, then click Next. Now here for permissions policies, the options depend on the use case that you selected. For this demo, select uh, these permissions. The first one, it's Amazon uh, Bedrock Full Access. So you can have full access to Bedrock. Select it. Then the second one, we're going to select the CloudWatch Logs Full Access. To access logs files and be able to troubleshoot in case you have errors. And here for role name, I'm going to enter chatbot lambda role. You can name it whatever you want. Review the roles and then choose a create role. All right, the third step, we're going to create the, the lambda function. Let's check our diagram again. We've created the IAM role. Now we're going to create the, the lambda function. Now to create a lambda function with a console, in the navigation pan, search for lambda function. Then here choose create function. Select author from scratch. In the basic information pan for function name, I'm going to enter chatbot lambda. You can name it whatever you want. And here for runtime, choose Python 3.13. Leave architecture set to 64-bit. For execution role, we're going to select our existing role, this one here, chatbot lambda role. And then choose create function. Okay, before we proceed, I'm just going to increase the timeout because the default timeout is 3 seconds. Typically, it doesn't take too much time, but I'm just going to increase it to 2 minutes, just in case. And for memory, I'll set it to 500. And hit save. Now, for the lambda function code, I have a sample code that we're going to use so that you don't have to write it from scratch because I didn't want to make this video too long. I'm going to provide this code in the description below from my GitHub repo. Now, basically, this AWS Lambda function is designed to serve as a backend API that interacts with Amazon Bedrock Titan text model to generate text responses. Now, let me break it down and give you a quick explanation. Now, here you have to import Boto3, which is AWS SDK for Python used to interact with AWS services. Then we're going to import JSON. And then here we have the Bedrock client initialization. This creates a client for the Amazon Bedrock runtime and targeting your region. In my case, it's US is one. Make sure you change this to your actual region. Now this client will be used to invoke the Titan model hosted on Bedrock, okay? Then here we have the Lambda handler function. Now this section will handle pre-flight options request. If you use fetch from the browser, which we'll try later on in this video, this will send a pre-flight options request to the browser. Otherwise, it won't work. You will have errors. So you need your Lambda to handle that. Then here we have the income JSON request. Okay. This will extract the message, which is the user input. Don't worry. You don't have to understand this right now. Just follow along. All right. 
and this section will prepare the request for the title model. Here we have max token count. This limits the response length. Now this part here will send the request to the title model hosted on Bedrock. Here we have to specify the model ID. If you're using a different model, you have to change this model ID. Let me show you where you can find it. Go to your model. And here you can see the information about a specific model. And we have the model ID. You have to copy this model ID and paste it into your code. All right. And then it will return appropriate headers to allow cross-region browser requests. All right. And lastly, this will return and send back the generated response. All right. Now, in summary, this Lambda function accepts a post request with a user message, then formats the prompt and sends it to Amazon Titan via Bedrock, then returns the model's generated reply with course support for web integration. Now, I'll copy this entire code and paste it into the Lambda code editor. And then I'll click Deploy. Now in step four, we're gonna set up the API gateway. Now back to our diagram, we're over here, we're gonna create an API gateway. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this API gateway act as a doorway into your backend and it securely receives the request and forward it to a Lambda function, all right? Now to do that in the navigation pan, search for API gateway. So we're gonna create a REST API. The REST API provides an HTTP endpoint for your Lambda function. Then click Build. Enter your name. I'm gonna enter Chatbot API. Then click Create API. Once the REST API is created, click on Create Resource. Here, enter a resource. I'll enter Chat. Then here, make sure you enable Cores, Cross-Region Resource Sharing. Now, once the resource is created, click on Create Method. For the method type, choose a post. For the integration type, choose Lambda function. And here, make sure you enable Lambda proxy integration to send the request to your Lambda function as a structured event. Here, choose your region. Mine is US East 1. Then choose your existing Lambda function that you just created. Now keep the rest as default and then click on create method. Back to resources, we're gonna click deploy API. For the deploy stage, we're gonna create a new stage. I'll name it dev, then click deploy. Now, all right, once the API is deployed successfully, we'll have an invoke URL, this one here. This will be our API endpoint. Okay, we're gonna use this and then it's going to call the Lambda function to generate the response to us. Okay, now very quick, I'm gonna test this API gateway. I'll use Postman. Postman is an all-in-one API platform for building and working with APIs, all right? I'll use this invoke URL, copy this. I'll open it and paste it here. Remember our method is post and then we have a resource of chat. So we need to add slash chat, okay? And then here the method is post and it takes in a request body. So inside our request body, I'm gonna have something like a message. Let's say hello, and then this is optional. You can add history. Then click send. Hey, look at that. It's working. Here it says, hello, how may I assist you today? This is very cool. Now from here, you can ask it more real questions, but I'm not gonna do that here. We're gonna go a bit further. We're going to use a front end and host it on Amazon S3. Now in this step, we're gonna build a simple chat interface using pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and then deploy it via S3 or Amplify, all right? Now back to VS Code, I'm gonna create a new file. I'll call it index.html. Then I'll paste the code here. I'll provide a link in the description below from my GitHub repo. Feel free to copy and use it for this demo. Now I'm not gonna go through this. Here we just have the title. And then here we have the CSS section. Here we have the header. 
and this is where we have the script okay now we have to replace something here here at the call backhand we're gonna fetch data from our api remember the one we just tested now go to postman copy this api endpoint and paste it here now make sure you add slash chat at the end because remember our method is post as you can see here and here we have the resource of chat so we need to do slash chat all right as same as here we have api endpoint then chat and then the method is post now once you're done just save it now the final step we're going to upload this index.html file and deploy it via amazon s3 let's do that very quick in the aws management console navigate to amazon s3 then click on create bucket for general configuration choose general purpose bucket enter a unique bucket name i'll name it my ai chatbot demo you can name it whatever you want make sure you disable block all public access to have full public access keep everything as default and click create bucket now here we're going to upload the index.html file that we created let me go ahead and do that it's uploaded now here go to properties and scroll down to static website hosting here you can also use amplify for hosting i'm just gonna stick with static website hosting all right click on edit under static website hosting choose enable and specify here index.html as the index document and then click save now go to permissions then bucket policy and then click edit now I want you to paste this bucket policy. This policy grants read-only access to all objects inside a specific S3 bucket. In my case, it's my AI chatbot demo. So replace this, your bucket name with your actual bucket name. Then back to the S3 bucket, choose object. Now here to visit our fully serverless AI chatbot live, click on object URL. And there you go. You should see your AI chatbot with a stylish chat interface running on Amazon S3. This is amazing. Now let's test it out. Now here you can ask anything to this AI chatbot assistant and you will have a real-time AI response. All right. Let's start with hello. What can you do? All right, here's the response. Hello, I can do lots of things. The list of my abilities is very long, but I can tell you about the most important things that I can do. For example, I can help you with different tasks like sending messages, setting reminders, checking the weather, and even helping you with your work tasks like creating documents and spreadsheets. Now let's ask a question like, uh, what is the G20 summit? Okay, here's the response. The G20 summit is a meeting of 90 countries and European Union. It is one of the most important meetings of the world leaders. It's usually held every year, blah, blah, blah. And here's the rest of the reply. Let's ask a career-related question. I would like to become an AWS certified solutions architect. What certificate should I earn first? <laughs> this is very good. It's giving you a very good approach to become a certified AWS solutions architect. Let me maximize the screen. It says, to become an AWS Certified Solutions Architect, you'll need to earn two certificates, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. And here it says the Cloud Practitioner Certificate is the first step. Then it says you can proceed with the Solutions Architect Associate Certificate. I mean, this is a very helpful guide if you want to earn AWS certificates. This is very cool. We have our small version of ChatGPT. All right, congratulations. You've just built a production ready AI chatbot. And of course you can even fine tune prompt for better AI responses. You can also optimize your model by adding complex reasoning analysis to generate images and videos and so on. That's it for this video. If this video helped you out, please like, subscribe and leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions. I'll be making more cloud and AI tutorials like this. So hit that bell if you want to stay updated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.